Hey, hello, how's it going? Welcome back to another Slice and Dice video. It's me, Cranberry. Hopefully you are doing well. I'm doing pretty well. Having a good one. Uh, just got back from work and I am recording the second Slice and Dicer of today. That should be pretty cool if you are watching this video when it gets uploaded. I might be doing a, uh, a stream. I should be doing a stream over at Twitch today and it should be... If you are one of the earliest watchers of this video, if you're watching it right when it uploads, you should be able to come check out the stream. It should be cool. Hopefully, I'll see you there. If not, no worries. Uh, maybe maybe one day I'll do a stream on YouTube. I said I would a while back, and I have not got around to setting up the multi-stream stuff. And maybe I will. <laughs> I'll, but we'll see. I don't know. Uh, but let's play that. We're doing another, we're doing just a hard mode run today. The, the, cool, the, the run earlier, the... The loot run, the heaven mode loot run was pretty cool. It was pretty neat, but it does take a long time. Like, doing nightmare mode does just, you know, add an extra, like, half an hour to the run usually and stuff. So, at, at the minimum. So, it takes a little bit longer. Um, and I don't have a ton of time before the stream actually starts. So, we're going to do a, do a hard mode, see how it goes. Spoilers for the last, I guess, two videos ago. We won. Win streak's going well. We got 100 wins, hooray, and hopefully we can keep this up. We'll see. Uh, just give me the basic team or nothing nothing too crazy. And there's an easy early curses here. One of the easiest curses in the game. Pretty happy to have that. Um, Big hitter, definitely worse than tower. Because when big hitter does hit, this will just wipe me out. So no thank you. How big of a deal is plus 4 HP on huge enemies? I feel like the, the one this might matter the most on is someone like the bell. It gives like it gives them like an extra like an entire extra turn to fight. I think it's not that bad though. I think it should be fine for the most part. Um, we should try to make the rest of our curses though more front loaded than to compensate at the very least. We'll we'll try. Ah, uh, sure. Just give me this. Whatever. It's fine. Take this. I'll cut. I'll kill a rat. This doesn't cause a retreat, does it? If we do something like this here, I'm pretty sure no, right? Yeah, not quite. Almost. Should hit the bottom because it lets us cut to kill the top, I suppose. Whatever, it's fine either way. It's fine either way. Cool, cool. Uh, skip the four random tier ones, of course. Uh, I like both these characters. I think Scrapper in a vacuum is a little bit weaker than Knight. But I'm willing to take Scrapper and build around it more. But this is an interesting choice, and I like them both, but I'm going to just go with the Scrapper. Um, less sticky. Pretty fine. Could be a problem with Scrapper going for like a big shield build and be sticky onto a Bloodlust, but ultimately shouldn't be too bad. I'll take these. These look all pretty good. I'll just take this. This looks pretty good this turn as well. Everyone's targeting the Acolyte here, so we can just do that. Scrapper for a ton of value. Um, I think we just play it this way. We can even do uh, this as well, although that kills you, so we'll do we'll do uh, this as well. And that should cause a retreat, yeah, or certainly. Goodbye, Archer. I like Dabble. Dabble's pretty good here, although, uh, you know what? Actually, seeing the, the sticky heal... Is a little bit dubious. I don't love that. I don't know. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll go for the gamble here. Okay. Well, that doesn't do much for us, I don't think, but whatever. And my next curse. Again, we want we want more end game focused curses here. So I think tra training is more of an early mid game uh, loaded curse. We'll take that. It should do very little to nothing against the bosses. Anyway, here you go, buddy. Have have permissive on your blanks. Okay, both seeds are hatching. That's a little bit concerning. I think we have to choose to let. Uh... Oh no, we can we can do some stuff here. Actually, it's fine. That's really good too. Okay, we'll do it this way then. I was gonna say we could choose to. Uh... Kill the thorn here and let one of the, the the seeds hatch. But this is basically as good. Kind of the same thing. Um, I'll cut like this. 
We need to actually kill this thorn next turn, which is a little bit tricky for us. Take pretty much all of these. Don't triple blank me, Scrapper. Come on, there we go. We can go burst into cut. Easy kill there. Ooh, this is a pretty tough one. Dabbler is a, is a very strong tier 2 orange character. Just very consistent, very good. We stick either the 3 damage side instead, which is pretty cool too. I think with I think Sticky Dice makes you take Dabble here over Seer because the one mana growth can be weak if you see it early. A Seer obviously stronger into the Bramble fight, but Bramble should be pretty easy for us. So I think we can handle him pretty well here. Um, I don't hate Martyr, but with Sticky Dice it's a little bit scary to go Martyr on this one. Hmm. 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 Give me a random. Okay, exposed middle, pretty easy for us here right now, but kind of a bad curse, I feel like, in general. I don't love seeing this currently. I think we'll be fine, though. Um. Let's work Bramble down here. He's almost dead. Should be able to get lethal this turn, hopefully. There we go. Three. I'll take those. That's that's lethal on the Bramble for sure. No matter how you do this. Okay. And we'll do that. Cool. Okay. Oh, ooh, man. Golden Threads is nothing with Scrapper. But Scrapper is not going to be in the run forever, right? So that's pretty cool. But I, I like Wings as well. And I think with Cultus here, getting healing on the on the outer flanks will be pretty cool for us. I'll take this, honestly, here. Put it on Dabble for now. We have, a, we have a good team, I feel like, for Wings currently. That's the thought process, at least. We'll see if it actually ends up playing well or not. Okay, I need some mana here so I can shield my man. There we go. Thank you. We could do we could do actually this here. Hold on. That's pretty good. Maybe it would have been better to put it on cultus there. I don't know. I don't think it matters too much. Either way, pretty easy fight. Uh uh. We have okay mana generation with Dabble. Or Dabbler, I should say. So it's not terrible to take Evoker here. I do not like Enchanter on this team. It's good with Cultist, but bad once you lose Cultist. So we can see Fiend maybe, and then it gets okay, but not that good either. Yeah, I think this is just going to be a this is gonna be a random here. Okay, Pilgrim works pretty well on this team. The only problem is a little bit of a non-bow with the Steel Sides and Pilgrim not being able to generate shields on Scrapper before attacking. So we're gonna tr we're gonna have to heavily rely on those bloodlust sides off of the uh, the scrapper here. It looks like I'm gonna take this just so we can actually use the cultist this turn. I think as well. And hopefully we can use the cultist this turn. There we go. Um, we've got some issues. I guess we just play it like this. Oh, you know what we can do actually? Hold on. No, I know the I know the line now. We do this into this. Get the retreat. That's way stronger. Okay. Okay. And then we probably just uh defensive burst here. Seems fine. That is a much better line for that turn though, for sure. Absolutely. I'll take these. These all look pretty good to me here. And I think we will just choose to kill the snake. And... Does it matter? I think we just hold. We can probably just get a big self-shield combo at some point here too. To get someone to run away. Uh, hold on. This is, this is a little slow, but it's also just a safe line, which I don't hate. Oh, we can just... Oh, we can't kill here. Whatever. 
Oh, we can kill. Goodbye. Uh, do not love a mana bomb here. Love an Abacus. Abacus doesn't do anything for us yet right now, really, but it's good to have in general, so pretty okay with that. Um, yep. Give a little bit of extra health to the cultists here. Seems fine to me. I'll settle for two damage. I'll settle for this. Settle for one mana here. Would love the three the vitality heal here on Acolyte, but shouldn't risk whiffing it, so. Um How do we handle this? Probably just put, put this here. I don't hate just bursting here too. Oh, it will cause a little bit more damage. That seems fine. We should be able to kill this ogre next turn, and then hopefully we can kind of just stabilize from there. We'll take these together. Ooh, interesting. Stun very bad this turn because Pilgrim has one HP. Okay, good stuff, good stuff. Okay, hold on. Something something is going wrong with my game right now. It's being a little funky. One moment, please. Maybe it's my mouse being weird. Wow, well, yeah, it might be my mouse itself. Okay. That's not terrible. That works well enough for now. Again, I don't love this pilgrim being uh so I guess it's the it's that oh is that is that exposed middle. Oh uh, exposed middle with pilgrim's actually pretty bad, because he again he can't put shields on himself really. That is gonna be an issue for us ultimately, but I think we'll be fine still. Uh, let's try again here. Reuse is pretty good. And we have lethal. We need to do this. Can my mouse please stop being stupid? Okay, there we go. Good. It is the bell. I think I'm gonna go vampire here. Fiend works okay with the cultists with those self shield sides, but I think vampire is just too strong to pass on right now. Okay, give me mana. Can't stun anyone this turn. That's fine. Uh, I... Oh man, I don't love this, but I don't hate just saving on, on Vampire this turn. I, guess, I think it's not terrible. It's not good either. If that's the case, we're going to take this off then. Eh, could be worse. Um, we'll hit here, we'll hit here. Fanatic dies this turn, which is nice then too. Honestly, just keep summoning imps, that's such good news for us. This all looks pretty good to me. We need to go a little bit more offensive though, I think, this turn. I'll take that. Hey, good stuff, good stuff. We're doing a little bit of infusing here to keep uh, to keep uh, vampire alive. Other than that, doing the death defy on pilgrim this turn makes sense because he's already you know taking a ton of damage, so looks pretty good. Oh yeah, again, just keep summoning. This is very good news for us. I appreciate this. Okay, this goes here. Infuse. And it's just us versus a single imp. Seems pretty winnable. That will get the job done. You know, my mouse, I think it might be my, my mouse starting to die on me. I'm having trouble just left clicking right now. Uh, I'm down for a cart, doesn't do much for us. I always feel like it ends up not being worth taking, but we have no curse items. So we should have plenty of room for cool synergy stuff. I'm down for it. Red Flag's not terrible here. We might be able to get something cool going on with uh, with Abacus and Red Flag, but it's not that good. Yeah, I'll take this. And you know what, Pilgrim? There you go, bud. 
I trust that in the late game we'll find some pretty cool stuff to do with this, hopefully. We can definitely take that. We're really just looking for bloodlust here. There we go. Okay. Um probably stun you. And That's a little weak. Hmm. Oh, you know what we do? We do. Hold on. No, we do this. Then we can cut. Oh, fuck. That doesn't work either. Really shit. Hmm. Do you like this? Yeah, that works pretty well. We use all of our mana to do it this way, but that's a lot of the damage coming in. That looks good to me. Okay. Take the heal here. I'll take this try to roll for a bigger mana side on Cultist this turn, hopefully. There we go. Okay. Pretty, pretty easy fight there. We don't really have much... We, we don't have any AoE damage, so this is going to be a little bit of a tricky fight here. But I'm not too scary. Mm. Garnet's fine, but not that good. No, thank you. Tough choice. Tough choice here. Uh, you have decent mana generation, but not anything crazy. I, th I, me personally, in a vacuum, I like Caldera more than Sparky. So I think I'm just gonna go call Dara here, but it's a tough, it's a genuinely tough choice there for me. I don't know which is actually the right one, but um, I think this will be fine still, hopefully. I think all of those are pretty good rolls. Looking for a stun here, probably on the pilgrim. Oh, death defy. Okay, well. What do I do then? It's not even actually killing here. Uh. I guess we just do this. We just we, I, I I I think it's very easy to get baited into like letting vampire take extra damage here when we could just kill the illusion anyway. Because vampires need to weaken for two then, and they're just offline next turn. It doesn't seem worth it. I don't know, just pilgrim, 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 fuck that one up. It's fine. No biggie. Still just looking for stuns here. I think there we go. Um, if you do like a hit, here we go. Hit into stun up here. Hit the quartz. That looks pretty good to me, honestly. They both died of poison next turn, even if we just like somehow just X out the our, all of our characters here. Obviously not going to be how that shit goes down, but still. Okay. Um, I really like Sponge on this team with Caldera. Caldera's a very good Sponge holder. And even the Vampire's a pretty okay one, too. Uh, treasure chest. I mean, we have a bunch of junk items, so I don't, you know, it's, it's fine. We can take treasure chest and, like, just unequip some of our, our garbage here. But Sponge is pretty strong. Pretty happy to have that here. Should work well enough. Okay, Pilgrim. Not that scary here, because we, remember we have the, the exposed middle. So, a burst just more or less solves that. We're just stun here. Um, we're going to need to do this, I think. Yeah, it's fine. It's going to be a little iffy, though. Caldera's going to be important for this. We're going to need a lot of Scald value on this one. Absolutely. 
But uh, Sponge is going to come in big here, I'm pretty confident in saying as well. Okay. So we're going to go with something like probably this into a killing blow here into hmm you can use scald i suppose that works pretty well might have been a slightly more optimal line there but that that gets it done i'm pretty happy with that uh i'm okay with dancer here i definitely don't want wraith on this team like, uh, genuinely, honestly, I think Vampire is a better character than Wraith. I'm not even fucking with you. I think this is a stronger character. I think I'd rather have these two damage sides and this spell than this. In, like, like, yeah, it's just, it's actually crazy. I've just had this revelation now for the first time, too. Yeah, Vampire, I think, is stronger. So anyway, I'm gonna take Dancer here. Lose a little bit of mana support, but we get more rerolls. We get we have spread damage too with the cantrips, which is nice, and also the rampage, which is nice with Caldera. This should be pretty good. I like this. this feels like a well balanced team to me right now. So take this. I don't really want to stun here. I'd rather get like a reuse if I can. Look at that. There you go. I would love a bloodlust here. Okay, no bloodlust. That's fine. Let's do this. Yeah, that's a pretty good turn. Killed all the bones, so got half of Lich's health. Solid turn one. Looking for a mana attack here if I can find it, especially with that reroll we just hit. Um. Uh oh. Was I too greedy? I was not too greedy. Okay. All right. Oh, uh, I guess I do. I do this actually. Hold on. Okay. Dodge for no reason. Pass the turn. Yeah, Sponge is doing pretty good stuff for us here, obviously. Big Sponge fan. Take that. That looks pretty good. We don't need this, we can just hold it though, because it's safe. Um Oh, that just kills, okay, cool. Uh Do we take the speculative luck here in case we see like Sorcerer? Sorcerer is pretty good on this team with Dancer for extra reroll support. Yeah, I'm down with it. It's not that good right now, but it's 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 solid. It's a speculative item. It's okay. It's okay in general. It's not great, in, you know, but it, it's fine. I don't want to cantrip into the spiker here, but I don't want to dodge either, obviously. Okay, you know what? Sometimes it is just about gaming, huh? Okay. Alpha should die next turn. Scrabber taking some pretty big hits here, though, unfortunately, but also rolling pretty well, so that's good to see. Um, we just kill the Alpha here, probably. How do I do this? How do I do this? Hold on. So... We can do that. I wonder if we just don't even use the dancer side here. I wonder if we, we should probably go back and reroll, actually. The rampage is pretty bad, I think. Oh, you're stuck on it, though. Shit, never mind. Okay, well. When you're stuck, you're stuck, right? What do I do? So we can do this. Then we can just, uh... That's not even that good shit. Yeah, we just don't do it. It's kind of funny. Definitely hit here. Let me burst here in case we hit a cantrip next turn. I think that's fine. Okay. Okay. 
You can afford one cantrip into the spiker here, so we should try to roll for a little bit better. There we go. Very good rolls. Mm. Cool. Okay, good. Oh, uh, this is maybe the easiest doctor pickup of my entire life. It is a little annoying to have the poison side be stickied. But, um... Yeah. Just uh, don't even want to think about playing Prince in this team. Don't want to random into a terrible, like, ace here. You can hold that too, buddy. Yeah, this is a pretty easy one. Yeah, Pilgrim's dying, but it's exposed middle, so we just need to put a, a, a burst on him to defend him. He'll be perfectly fine. I'm looking for a, probably a uh, stun here. This turn. You know what? I'll settle for this. This is pretty good. Um... We can just kill an ogre, I'm now realizing. Which is also a pretty good line. It's unfortunate that Pilgrim's taking double damage then, but honestly, he'll... he'll he can suck it up. He'll be okay. Stun, not that good this turn. We're, I think we want to try to high roll for a reuse instead. Yeah, in general, you can just kind of high roll here, I think, for the most part. I'll put this on yourself. That seems pretty good. Okay. Ogre should go first. Seems fine to me. Oof. Big, big hits this turn. Stun not looking as good here on the on the the pilgrim. Okay, guys, come on. That's pretty good. Okay. Defensive burst keeps pilgrim alive. Scrapper getting poisoned, a little annoying. Luckily, this doctor's not rolling the poison hit here. It would be pretty debilitating if he ever does. Does he run away? 9, 14. It's close, right? Math is hard. He runs. Okay, cool. Ooh, tough one here. Very tough one. Uh, charge link not as good with Doctor because it's it's not charging the the uh, mana sides, it's charging the heal sides. So we would put it on Caldera. We would probably go sponge on Doctor at that point and go charge link on Caldera, which is pretty good. Uh, the Pocket Mirror also a pretty solid pickup for a lot of these characters. Remember, it is sticky, which is kind of annoying. But not that big of a deal. Um... My gut's telling me charge is a little bit better on this team. And obviously it gives some blues very, you know, strong options as well. Oh, I forgot we have the thing. We have the carriage. Okay, we can do that then. If, do, we go, do we go sponge and charge I don't think so. I think this is fine. But even then it's a little bit weird. We don't really get good Caldera value until turn two then. Okay, stun looks pretty good here. I need mana so I can burst on Pilgrim this turn. Ooh, Doctor, thank you. Doctor, thank you very much. Um, I can do this here. And just kill you as well and save mana. I think we save mana for the charge side for next turn. I think this is a pretty good line for us. Charge link. Need to, need to charge link here. Mm. Ah, fuck me. The sticky. Not even hitting the charge link either. That is bad news. We can, we can heal here on Pilgrim and then stun someone. I 
that's a really bad turn for us. Mm, you know, I think we stunned whoever's hitting Pilgrim here. I think we let Caldera die, unfortunately. Fight's almost over this way. It's a little rough, but I think we win from here. Hmm. Uh, sheesh. We kill someone for sure. Here is rolling for damage. Pilgrim can stun here, so that's very good. Okay, extremely good rolls. We just, we just, everyone else survives now. Hooray. Okay, that could have been much worse. That could have been much worse for sure. On this team, Sorcerer with the luck and everything makes the most sense here. Uh, charge link probably is going to go on to Doctor now, if I had to guess. Uh, Poet's also pretty good here, too. And I, oh man, where do we even put Sponge right now? I guess, I guess it goes on you. I don't know. Put Abacus on Sorcerer just to keep, to keep it a little bit healthier, too, I think. Okay. I feel good about this team right now, though. We just need to survive a couple rounds here real quick, and we should be fine. Um, Hold these. Definitely hold that right now. Try again. Ugh, gross. Um, This goes here. This goes here, burst goes on Pilgrim. So nobody dies. I think I actually just put this on the slate here to start working him down. I take this. Take this again so we can stun Slate again. Oof, pretty bad roll. Just take this here so we don't X. Sorcerer, come on, man. What the fuck? Interesting decision here. We can let Pilgrim die and we can pop a luck here, or we can put a burst on him to save him. I think we're supposed to save him still. But it's, I'm sick of his shit. Dude, middle, ex middle expose is really nasty for a tier 1 curse, for the record. Take this, roll these two. I'm leaving I'm leaving Dancer open for reroll support for the Sorcerer. God damn you, Sorcerer. Don't do this to me. He actually just fucking triple X'd. I genuinely can't believe he did that. That's crazy. Well. We get to pop the luck here still. Immediately sticky. Oh, we have... I just realized we have sticky left on Sorcerer too. Ah, oh, shit. This is so bad. I, ju I just realized how bad this is now. That's not good. Well. Gotta stick you at some point here. I'll take this, I guess, sure. Hmm. Oh, there it is, okay. Well. We're not in that much danger. Do I even do I even pop luck anymore? I don't know. Hold on. Kind of like doing this. Dude, this sucks. I'm so sad. I didn't realize. I'm stupid. I'm I'm so stupid too. What a dumb idiot I am. Sticky, perfect, great. Fuck me. Hey, what do you got? What do you got? Lovely. Luckily, we're just very strong, too. This could obviously be much worse if our team was dookie. We got some good things going for us here. 
Honestly, just hit me with the luck again. Oof. Okay. Give me the four. Okay, the longer we can go without sticking, the better. Fuck. Um... How close are we to lethal here? We have five mana, two, four, we're short. Well, we can do this. And then we can do... Hmm. Mm -hmm -hmm. I think Pilgrim's dying here. I don't hate this as a line. We should be able to kill the Troll King next turn with this. Probably. Definitely give me that. Yeah, that's gotta be lethal, right? Okay. Okay. Sure. Why not wax seal me here? Oh, the sticky doesn't even count anymore? That's so fucked. Dude, left side sticky has ruined this entire run, man. It's still not terrible, but god, this would be so good if I didn't think- I forgot about left side sticky! Ah! Can't really stun anyone this turn. Not sure what I'm looking for. That's pretty good. I just hold here. Who's hurting you, Dancer, right now? We can just kill the Banshee. Or we could kill you. Just do like this and then, uh. Burst, burst. But then Sorcerer dies. So probably not the correct line. That doesn't seem too bad. It's going to be hard to kill this chomp, though. We'll hopefully get there at some point. Sure, give me this, I guess. Whatever. Okay, we put this here. Heal you up. This doesn't seem too bad. We can burst Fanatic this turn, next turn if we need to, we can just kind of save the mana. Okay. Despite my best efforts at losing this run, I think we're still gonna do well and hopefully win but i i royally threw this one this this should be doomed and yet here we are still living okay if we get a charge hammer it's saved because then we can just put that on the, the the sorcerer get rid of the sticky side and still be pretty well off uh out of these i think i want a stoic here scrapper is fine doesn't matter too much either way. Not tempting too, honestly. But I think this is better. With the charge link, almost certainly. The right line. Poison one all is a little bit spooky, but not that bad here. Need to redirect off of the sorcerer, though. It's pretty good. There's the sticky. Let's do the poison first. Hmm. Oh, we could even do uh, something like this here, and then it kills both the golems this turn. That's pretty good. Hmm. 
Let's just hit like that and pass. I know we do actually hit two real quick before we do that. Before we hit the shade, we uh we do this first, I think, and then we hit you. Am I stupid? Hold on. There we go. That's a little bit better, I think. And then, and then, oh shoot, hold on. And then we do this as well. Okay. Seems fine. Both of these golems dying here is good. This golem has one HP. Scrapper can kill a zombie in a single bloodlust hit. Oh, this works too, I guess. Why are you three pips this side? Oh, the sp I forgot about sponge. Oh, that's so cool. Poison counts as uh, as kills in the sponge turn. Oh, shit. I should be using Miasma way more then. What the hell? Put this here. Stun your ass. Um, I think we cause a retreat here just by purely having more health than you. That seems fine to me. Okay. Uh, Silk Cape is is so fucking funny with the sorcerer here, because we can in theory blank out all this. We lose the sticky side, but then we just have the two mana. But listen, you're just gonna have to trust me on this one. This is gonna work, okay? You're gonna have to trust me. This is gonna be good, right? Because what we do is, the, the the plan is to just hit luck. We just need one, turn one, we just need one mana hit, right? And then we get to, we hit luck, and then with eight rerolls, this is good enough to win the game. And we don't have to worry about sticky fucking things over. This will work. It is unbelievably sketchy. But it's good, don't worry. I'll take this. I'm looking for bloodlust here, whatever, it doesn't matter. Can't believe no one died this turn, that's crazy. I don't hate the poisoning here either. Kinda meh. I think we just hold mana for bursts. We'll see. But yeah. This will work. You must have faith. I would never lie to you. Except for maybe sometimes. Okay, we need 15 mana to guarantee like an instant kill with, uh, or not, but not 15, 12 I think because of the barrel triggers as well. Come on. Come on, you fucker. Ah. Uh... Nevermind, this is enough. Just kills them all. Okay, good. Only needed nine. I was I was lying. Okay. Um listen, Wander has good mana potential here. But I think just for the sake of not dying right away, I think we just take the wander because it's pretty good into this fight. I think this is just a little bit of a wanderer angle here. Okay. Do not kill my sorcerer around one. That's a lot of damage, okay. Come on. There we go. He's done it. Uh, If we kill the bird here, nobody dies, which is pretty solid. Okay. We pass. We got the rolls. Stoic's getting hit for 22. This is perfect. Really hoping to get some shields off of you, buddy. But whatever, that's fine. Okay. There we go. Value. Value. Good job, Dancer. Keep up the good work. God, this is so fucking stupid. 
Once we get in there, once we're doing it, we're doing it, is the thing. And we luck, and we put some poison down for barely any any net benefit here, but that's fine, whatever, it's cool. We, we regen it all back. We forget we regen it all back, baby. You give me this. Dude, sorcerer, you gotta roll you gotta roll some mana here, buddy. You cannot roll ten X's in a row. I refuse to believe you can do this. Don't fucking do this to me, man. Come on. I'm so angry. I, I can't risk it. I have to do this. Okay. Can't. Oh, can I, can I stun you here? Hold on. How close are we to stunning? I just go all out aggro this turn. You're at 22. Yeah, it doesn't quite work. Okay. We need, we need the luck. Put this here. Put this here. Okay. It's fine. It's fine. Okay. I would love some some shields on the on the wanderer this round. Thank you. Dude, he's actually kind of doing it. Okay, sorcerer, give me give me something to work with, please. Okay. Uh, every time I fucking roll anything, I'm just begging the sorcerer. Please, please, please. Yeah, we put this here for sure. Then we can get this done this turn as well. It's pretty nice. A little luck down. Okay. Now that we have the dragon in the stun lock here, it, it is over. We do win from this position, I'm pretty positive. But geez, that was a the 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 second luck spin where it was just ten rerolls and we rolled all the way down to two before hitting a single mana side. That almost broke my soul. This is this is lethal, okay. Snatching <laughs> defeat from the claws of victory on that one? Or from the jaws it was is it claws or jaws? I don't know. Whatever, fuck it. We win. Left sticky sorcerer, never again. Fucking never again. <laughs> Gotta remember that that is a thing we cannot do. But hey, we we found the abacus workaround. I wonder if it was just better to play uh, not that. <laughs> I wonder if we maybe, you know what? Oh my god, I'm dying we want to talk to you. I've realized what the actual line was now. It was just... <laughs> It was just silk cape and then wax seal. And then we'd have the four sticky sides and they would be plus four mana. So we just rolled, there was eight mana guaranteed every turn. Hmm. Goodbye. <laughs>